Ever wondered how to scrape live news headlines and analyze their sentiment using AI? In this tutorial, I'll show you how to build a Python script that does exactly that. We will use beautiful soup for web scraping, hugging faces transformers for AI sentiment analysis, stick around till the end and see it in action. First, let's head over to BBC website and check out the page structure. So here we have the BBC homepage. So we want to analyze the sentiment for these headlines. Trump very angry, Red Cross outraged and so on. Now, in first look, I think each one of these headlines is negative and this is not good for us. But anyway, let's head over with our tutorial and right click on this and click on inspect. And here, as you can see, we have this A tag. That is the link to the full news, I think. Click on this to expand this. And I'm just looking for this exact text here. Head inside this division, go inside. Where is it? Okay, it's inside this. So as you can see, this text is inside this H2 tag. So we will be looking for this text that is in this H2 tag. Now that we know what to look for in the page, let's head over to VS Code. All right, before we jump into the tutorial, let's talk about something every web scraper runs into at some point, getting blocked. If you've ever tried web scraping, managing multiple accounts, or accessing geo-restricted content, you've probably run into IP bans, captchas, or blocked websites. And trust me, I know how frustrating that can be. But that's where floppy data comes in. Floppy data is a powerful proxy service designed to keep your online activities smooth, secure, and undetectable. Let me break it down for you. Floppy data gives you access to 195 plus locations, including residential, mobile, and data center proxies. So whether you need a specific country or even a specific city, you are covered. If you need to rotate proxies for high volume web scraping, or maybe static proxies for logging into accounts without triggering security alerts, with floppy data, you get both. The best part, pricing starts at just $0.9 per GB. And if you are working on bigger projects, they've got bulk discounts too. Your data stays private, your IP stays hidden, and your requests just look like normal user traffic, so you can scrape without interruptions. And here's the deal, I've got a special discount for you. Use promo code FLYT30 at checkout and get 30% off on your first purchase. So if you're serious about web scraping or automation, don't waste your time dealing with bans and captchas. Head over to floppydata.com and start scraping smarter today. All right, now let's get back to the tutorial. Let's create a new file. I'll just call it scraper.py and this file is empty for now. Let's install the required dependencies. Go to terminal and we will use requests, beautiful soup and transformers as discussed earlier. So let's install all these three things. The command is python mpip install requests, beautiful soup 4 and transformers. Hit enter and all these three modules will be installed for you. These libraries allow us to fetch web pages, extract data, and run sentiment analysis using AI. Once these are installed, we can go ahead with our code. So first, let's import the required dependencies. I'll import requests, and then from BS4, that is beautiful soup for, we will import beautiful soup from transformers, we will import pipeline. And once the imports are there, we can go ahead with our code. So first, let's create a function to scrape the website. Scrape website and you can choose to pass a URL here. For now, what we'll do is we'll use a static URL here for BBC website. You can go and now let's just fetch the URL. So we'll try to get the response. Once we have this, let's use beautiful soup to parse the content and we'll look for headlines. And as we had searched for H2, we will look for H2 tag and we check if headline exists, what we'll do is we'll strip everything. And once we have this headline, we will need to analyze the sentiment. Okay, we will do this after we have tested this. So let's just see if headline fetching is working properly. So let's just finish the code. If there is no headline, we'll just print error, could not find headline. And now let's write the except block. And if there's any other error, Let's catch a generic error. So now let's print the headline and let's see if this is working. If this is working, we will use a transformer model to analyze the headline. Now we have everything ready. Let's just run this. Okay, let's just call this function first. Scrape website. And let's just pass an empty thing here because we have a static URL here. If you want, you can just keep this outside here to make it more modular and then pass the URL here. Now let's try to run this and let's see if scraping is working or not. 
these are just verbose messages that are being printed because we are using transformers so as you can see headline is being printed Trump very angry with Putin over ceasefire talks as strikes continue on Ukraine. So we have the headline. So now let's analyze the sentiment of this headline using AI. Okay, so one thing that I just noticed is it's just one headline that is being printed. So if you want to print all the other headlines, what you can do is you can get all the H2 tags and loop over them. I'll leave it as a task to you. For now, let's just use the transformer model to analyze the sentiment. So first what I'll do is I'll create a function. Let's call it analyze headline. And let's get started with our analysis. So first, let's initialize a pipeline and then analyze the headline. And from the result, let's check if the label is positive, negative or neutral. And then let's check the score. So this label is positive, negative or neutral. And the score means how confident our model is in its prediction of the label. Okay, so if the label is negative and the score is 0 0.9, it means that the model is pretty confident that whatever it has predicted as negative is definitely negative. If the score is pretty low, we'll just identify the news as neutral in order to avoid any miscalculation. So if the label is positive and the score is less than 0 0.6, which means that our AI is pretty not confident that the news is positive, we'll just label it as neutral and we'll do the same for negative labels. That is if the label, let's do LF, the label is negative and score is less than 0 0.6, we'll just identify the news is neutral and let's just return the label let's not uh, return score for now so we have a function that analyzes headline and we have a function that is scraping the bbc website here let's just return the headline okay so i'll not print this i'll just return the headline for now so now we have a function that returns headline and another function that returns the label Okay, and if everything else fails i'll just return none here if the headline fetching has failed Let's return null here also. And now we have both the functions ready. Let's get the headline here from scrape website. And if the headline exists, what we do is we print the headline and then we do the sentiment analysis and print the sentiment. Okay, now that we have the code ready, let's run it again. And here we have the headline. That is Trump very angry with Putin over ceasefire talks as strikes continue on Ukraine. And this is clearly negative. So yeah, this is how you can scrape website and how you can perform analysis on the text. That is the headlines in this case. You can go ahead and scrape the whole website, scrape each headline by looping over all the other H2 tags that we encounter. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.